Disclaimer, the following is a parody of Cinema 6 Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. With this in mind, any personal bias towards the show in question will not interfere with the content of the video. This video is not meant to be taken seriously, nor is it meant to offend the creators of the show in question, the show in question itself, or anyone who likes the show in question. Finally, all copyrighted material belongs to its respective owners. Thank you, and please enjoy the video. For the first time in my life, I'm, I'm fucking speechless. I got nothing. The way the crew universe animated this just makes it look like his mouth and entire jaw is unnaturally swishing up and down. May want to go see a doctor for that before you get disappearing mouth syndrome a different way. <laughs> seed on the ground? No seed on the ground. <laughs> this can is on this cone just for the sake of Steven having something to shoot at. It isn't even there in an earlier shot. This looks so much like Greg trying to give himself a blowjob that a YouTube poop literally made an entire skit on it. <laughs> Dad? Nice going, Crooniverse. This face. A piece of these watermelon slices magically regenerate just for Steven to eat them again. <laughs> Bullshit. There weren't even that many seeds on the part Steven ate. My Jove! It's full of seeds! Firstly, 2001 A Space Odyssey would like to have a word with you. Secondly, how did those seeds even get in there to begin with? Thirdly, not to be racist, but why are the seeds white? Fourthly, why are Greg's pupils even transparent now to begin with and don't even try to say for plot reasons? Ugh, he's eating the outside. Water Majesty. Water Majesty. Steven Universe Sticker Star confirmed. Holy Watermelon! Holy Watermelon. They're me! They're all me! No sh**. Your mother had the power to grow sentient plant life to act as her defenders. So then wait, if the plant life arose as Fountain back in an indirect kiss were her defenders, then why the hell did they attack Steven and Amethyst? One was a crystal gem that Rose herself knew for possibly thousands of years, and the other had Rose's own gem. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> One for every instance of watermelon homicide. How is this sign hanging when the rope isn't even attached to anything? I'll go ahead and accept your bribe. You f***ing dumbass. Let's just say there's a little Steven in every one of Great sales pitch, dude. That's not a good sales pitch. That's a way to make the stock prices for hot dog companies higher. Whoa! How did he take a picture with a powered off phone? Check out. How is he writing a blog post with a powered off phone? Also, they wasted 25 seconds of the episode on Ronaldo writing a blog post. Modern comedy, ladies, gentlemen, and blenders. Cool. 100 pieces of money. Steven, do you know how to properly count money? Jesus, this kid might need Connie as a future wife for how f***ing stupid he is with her sh**. You want my money? I'm surprised that isn't what Onion wants. Baby Melon is not for sale. How? He closed his eyes for two seconds! The only possible way that would have worked is if Onion grabbed the melon while Steven's eyes were open. In which case, Steven is a lazy dumb fuck. Oh my god, baby melon just turned into a Lenny, Jesus Christ! You're alive! If they're alive, then why were they just in some kind of comatose state for the first half of the episode? Now it just feels like the Crooniverse just randomly made them start moving just to give Steven a reason to round them all up again and have a time-wasting montage. fan fucking tastic Man, it's been a while since we've heard some awesome music. It's alive! Not for long. Oh! 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 Since when has it been an Amethyst character to read a newspaper? Also, why the hell are all the gems even reading the newspaper to begin with? <laughs> what in the actual f***? How long could she do that for? I'm sorry, Renegade Gaming X, but that could have been really useful in earlier episodes. Also... Oh boy, here we go with the watermelon murder. Also, Sonic the Hedgehog would like to have a word with you. Seriously, Garnet? They're gonna bump me in the ground! Seriously, Amethyst? Let go of my spear, you little twerps! I'll destroy you! Seriously, Pearl? Also, the Fairly Odd Parents would like to have a word with you.
This music is legitimately heartbreaking and they made it for the death of a goddamn watermelon. Subtract three sins, please. Ten sins for this fatality alone. Also, kinda hate to ruin the moment here, but... Top ten saddest anime deaths. I'm sorry, I had to. That's morbid and technically watermelon cannibalism. Time for the bonus game! Ah. Watermelon! Melon? Watermelon? Watermelon. Watermelons? Watermelon. Watermelon! Watermelon! Melon! 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 Watermelon! Watermelon! Melon! 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 Watermelon! Melon! Dick. On ya!